Good morning. This is Ramblin' Rusty. I am at the Marine Corps National Monument. Of course, it's a very iconic thing. This was all because of a picture that was taken during the battle at Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima was really an island owned by Japan and the Marines had been fighting there several days and there was a mountain nearby, it was called Mount Saribachi. You're gonna have to excuse the jitterness because I'm walking toward the monument as I talk. I can do two things at once, believe it or not. But anyway, the commander of the area says, we need to put a flag up there at the top of Mount Saribachi. So 40 Marine took a small flag from USS Missoula and they climbed up there. Well, there was a photographer there for it. That photographer took a picture of them putting it up and the many ships close by could see that going up. There was a lot of sirens going off and everything else. But of course it drew fire, gunfire from the Japanese. Well, the commander says, that flag is not big enough. We need a bigger flag up there. So guess what? The Marines turned around, went back up there. Well, the original person that took the picture, he had to dive for cover. His camera got broken. Well, he went back down and as he was going down, he met Joe Rosenthal on his way up. He says, well, the flag's already been raised up, but you can go ahead up there anyway if you want to. So he went up there with them and they took the larger flag. Well, Joe had a very large camera and Joe was a fairly short guy. So he piled up some rocks close by and put a sandbag on top of it so you could see a little better. Backed up where he could get a full range of them doing it. And as they put it up, it was a steel pipe that they put it up to start it up there with. He snapped one picture, didn't know what he got. And so uh, there was a, a person shooting a movie camera there also. Now that person later died there on Iwo Jima in a cave. And everybody says that Joe had staged the whole thing together that way, but that's how it worked out. Well, when the final picture came out that Joe had done, everybody thought that was great. So they commissioned an artist by the name of Felix D. Weldon to go ahead and make a bronze statue of that. Now those men are about 32 feet tall right there. And in fact, three of the faces on that st uh, statue were actually molded as by of the three men that actually were part of the crew that raised the flag. Well, in order to do that, they he built a steel structure, then modeled clay on top of it, and that then uh, later on he added the, the clothing. And it took about three years for the foundry to go ahead and and and. Uh, finished molding this and the uh, result is what you see and it it's a result to the Marines. The Marines were there from the very beginning of the Revolutionary War clear on around here on the uh, front side of it it says in honor and memory of the men of the United States Marine Corps who have given their lives to their country. 
since 10 November 1775. This is an awesome structure. And when you really go up here and look closely at the, the everything that's there on the statue, it's just amazing. And like I say, three of those faces were actually molded by the men who put the flag up there in the beginning. If you ever get a chance to come here to Arlington area, please stop by and see not only this, but many other sites. You can see what it's overlooking here. It's, a, it's overlooking the city of Washington. And then right near here also is the Clarion Tower, which is a bell tower. So I really urge that if you come here to Washington, D.C., you stop by and see not only the Marine Memorial, but many of the other memorials in this great uh, country that we live in. This is Ramblin' Rusty signing off right now. I'm here at the Iwo Jima Memorial. I hope you all have a blessed day.